Welcome back to the new features video series for Cubase 7. In this chapter, we'll demonstrate the new down mixing and control room features in Cubase 7. Cubase 7 has the ability to provide different headphone mixes for up to four studios, plus a fifth mix for the engineer. Each individual headphone mix is called a Q-Send. The improved control room provides all of these functions and more. The first step is to open the VST Connections, Studio tab, and enable the control room. Then you'll need to establish which device port on your audio interface will feed each studio, and the mains. Mains are typically the monitors in the actual physical control room. And just a note, it's recommended that you disable the connections on the output tab to prevent them from competing with the studio connections. Use the Add Channel button to create additional cue mixes. You can even name each cue mix to help stay organized. Click the E button to open the control room mixer, or open the control room tab in the master section of the mix console. Click on the name of the studio to unfold its tab. You can insert effects for each studio to add comfort reverb perhaps. However, how much processing you can afford will depend on your computer's speed and memory. Keep in mind that effects, reverb in particular, consume a lot of CPU power. Click on the Mix button to send the main mix to the performer, and click back on the Q button to send them their own personalized mix, which we'll configure in just a moment. The Click button turns the metronome on and off for each studio, and the TE button is used to enable talkback. One quick note, in order to use the talkback function, you'll need to set up a microphone of some sort at your mixing board or PC, connect it to your audio interface, and designate it as the talkback channel in the Studio tab VST Connections. To do this, click Add Channel. Select the option to add talkback, then connect this channel to the appropriate input on your interface. The buttons at the bottom of the control room mixer let you change the mix at your listening position. Mix gives you just that, the main output mix. The four Q buttons let you monitor what the performer is hearing in their headphones in each of the four studios. The dim button drops the volume at your listening position to make conversation easier without adjusting any levels on the mix console, and the talk button functions as your talkback mic on and off switch. Unlike most physical talkback buttons, this one latches, meaning that you have to click it again to disengage talkback. And you have a control for the master output level. The speakers tab lets you switch between different sets of monitors at your listening position. You can configure these outputs in the VST Connections tab as well. And you can switch any set of speakers into mono mode with this button. There's one pane left here, but before we talk about channels, let's set up some cue mixes. Make sure the channel rack is visible. Open the rack selector and turn on the option for cue sends. You can manually enable the cues for the tracks the performer needs to hear, and you can manually adjust the level of each track. However, it's much faster to open the Functions menu and activate Q Sends. Select Control Room Q Channels, then All Cues from Selected Mixer Channels. This turns on all of the studios and gets them a rough mix. Now you can fine tune the levels in each studio to suit the needs of the performer. You can also use the command use current mix levels to transfer the current mix to all of the studios. And if you enable the pane for control room slash meter, you have direct access to the control room mixer from inside of mix console. If we open the channels pane in the control room mixer, and double click on it. Mix Convert 6.0 opens automatically. Mix Convert was developed for the premier audio post production application, Nuendo. More and more material is being recorded in surround formats like 5.1. Mix Convert makes it easy to drop those six channels down into two with complete control over all the variables. Soloing individual channels and adjusting the relative value of individual surround elements. 
including panning. Mix Convert also makes it easy to drop a stereo mix down to mono. Now, it might seem quaint to worry about mono in the age of surround, but consider that if your material is going to be played on a portable device, it may well be in mono. So it's important to make sure that the signal holds together, allowing your full mix and your mono mix to live in harmony. Speaking of harmonies, let's move on to the next chapter and look at the new harmony tools available with the chord track.